Hey guys, this is Anrude uh, with another video. This time we're going to talk about Polynix. Uh, last time we talked about Coinbase and how we could buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, Litecoin off there. But today we're talking about Polynix where you could buy hundreds and hundreds of altcoins. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started by creating an account. Let's go ahead and click Safari or if you're on a PC, Chrome, Internet Explorer. We're going to go ahead and type in Polynix, P-O-L-O-N-I-E-X. Uh, so once you open the page, you're going to see this button right in front of you. It's called create an account. You're going to go ahead and click that. All right. Once the page opens, you're going to go ahead and select your country. In my case, I'm going to be United States. You're going to go ahead and use an email. Um, please use an email that you regularly use because this has a two-factor uh, authentication. They're going to send you a code every time you log in. It's just for your safety to protect uh, all your investments. And then for a password, please use a secure password. Do not use password 1234 or your phone number or something easy like that because basically you have a lot of money that's going to be stored in this account. Go ahead and click this, uh, I'm not a robot, and then I agree, and go ahead and click register. I'm going to go ahead and log into an account that I just created so I can go ahead and show you guys. Alright guys, so buying on Polynix is very, very easy. I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial. I don't have anything in here, but um, I can still show you guys how to purchase. You can purchase any cryptocurrency using US dollars, XMR, Ethereum, or Bitcoin. Um, how that works is, say you have a Bitcoin, you can click Bitcoin and purchase any of these coins converting your Bitcoin into that currency. Just to make it easy, let's go to US dollars. So say I want to buy Bitcoin right now. I click on Bitcoin, it's going to show me the price of $9,879. Or $9, I'm going to scroll down here, and then you have three options buy a stop limit and a sell so what we're gonna do is go to the buy and obviously I do not have any um, US dollars if you don't either you can click deposit so the lowest asking price is nine thousand nine hundred and ten dollars so you're gonna put in the price here and the amount of Bitcoin you want would like to buy so let's say we want to buy ten Bitcoin we would need ninety thousand dollars and on top of the ninety thousand dollars they're also gonna take a fee that's seen right here so you can go ahead and click buy it's gonna tell me I don't have enough USD all right that's fine all right so say you guys did purchase Bitcoin or you have Bitcoin in Polynix and transferred it from another account to Polynix you can also go ahead and sell the Bitcoin that you have so you're gonna um, this is the highest bid that is going for right now you can change the bid that's up to you guys you know you can change it to ten thousand dollars if you wanted to since it did hit that high and you have 10 bitcoins to sell you're gonna get a hundred thousand dollars you're gonna hit sell it's gonna tell me I don't have enough Bitcoin but you're gonna hit sell and it's also gonna take a fee for selling the the Bitcoin and right here you can check the live markets of what people are selling how much they're selling for and also the buy orders of what people are listing the price that they want to buy it at and how much Bitcoin they want to buy it at so I know the price is so much you can see that there's no way people are, are affording uh, one whole Bitcoin. It's just point zero zero zero. But people that already have a lot of Bitcoin, you know, they're selling six Bitcoin. They're selling, you know, one, two, three Bitcoin. So these are people who are cashing out right now. So that's a very simple method on how to buy on Polynix. And it's not just for Bitcoin. You can go ahead and click any other one. So say you want to buy Ripple, um, you go ahead and click Ripple. It's going to load your chart gonna go down and same thing you're gonna set your price obviously I wanna buy it at a lower price so I'm gonna say let me buy it at 25 cents I'm gonna say I want 10,000 ripples it's gonna cost me two thousand five hundred and forty eight dollars same scenario over here I have ripples I wanna maximize my profit so I wanna sell it at 28 cents and that's what I'm gonna list my bid at and I'm gonna put 10,000 ripples and I'm going to make $2,840 versus the $2,548 that I purchased it at. Same thing um, earlier for Bitcoin. You can see the sell orders, how many they're um, selling. And you can also see the buy orders at what price and how many they're trying to sell.
So that's a simple um, overview on how to purchase um, cryptocurrency. Now I'm going to show you how to check your balances and how to transfer cryptocurrency from various other websites such as Coinbase. You're going to go ahead and go up to balances and you're going to go to deposit and withdrawal. Once you go to deposit and withdrawal, it's going to show you how much you have in your entire account. It's also going to show you how much you can transfer per day. So these are basically all the coins that Polynix supports. As you can see, there are a lot of coins. And there, this is what probably by far one of the best websites that supports multiple, multiple coins. So say that I have um, Blackcoin. And Blackcoin, I don't have any right now. And I have Blackcoin from another website called Bittrex. And I would like to basically transfer all my coins from Bittrex to Polynix. What I'm going to do is click Deposit. Once you click Deposit, it's going to show you your deposit address. I'm going to copy this link into whatever website you're using and click Send. Once you do that, it's automatically going to send it to your account right here and it's going to show up as a total balance. Same thing for Bitcoin. I'm going to click Deposit and go to Deposit Address. This is my Bitcoin deposit address. So from um, Coinbase, I'm going to enter this address and say, please send me 10 of my Bitcoin from my Coinbase account to my Polynix account so that I can, you know, day trade or play around with it. Now, say you made your money, you day traded, and you want to take your Bitcoin and you want to completely cash it out to your uh, bank account like Chase or Wells Fargo. You're going to click, hypothetically, say we have 10 Bitcoin. We're going to click withdraw. Now, this is where you enter your Coinbase wallet address, that unique ID. So basically, it's, there's going to be a deposit button on your Coinbase just like this. It's highlight this code from your Coinbase account, not this one. From your Coinbase account, click withdraw, insert that address right here. Once you insert the address, you're going to click the amount of Bitcoin you are going to transfer, which is 10 or how many ever you have. Let me just copy this and paste it. All right, and then you're going to enter 10 Bitcoin. So you are going to get a total of 9.99 .99 Bitcoin as they're taking a transaction fee of this much. Once you're done, you're going to click withdraw. And once you have enough Bitcoin, it's going to go ahead and um, transfer to your Coinbase account. And then um, if you watch our last video, it's going to show you how to transfer that Bitcoin to your um, Wells Fargo or Chase, your local bank account. So that's basically an overview of how to deposit, withdraw, and check your balances. So um, there's one other thing that um, I could show you guys. It's called marginal trading. Um, I'm not really into that, but uh, I guess if you guys are experts or if you guys want to do that, basically marginal trading is called leverage trading. Uh, when you have leverage trading, you borrow, uh, like I say, 2.5 or 3 times the the amount that you put in. So you put in $10,000, you can potentially get $30,000 to play with, make your money, and then return the um, in initial investment back to the broker with a small fee. So it's kind of risky. Um, if you guys are really like into it and you guys know what you're doing, that would be the way to go and you guys don't have like a lot of capital at this moment. However, I would not take that risk as cryptocurrency is so volatile that you could lose a lot of money and you would be responsible for that payback. So that's one thing that you can do with Polynix. Um, as you can see right here, it's a 2.5 uh, times leverage and it's basically the same way you can go ahead and buy um, Bitcoin or any other coin. However, you're going to have a lot more capital as you're taking, um, say, a mini loan. Um, the last thing I just want to show you guys, um, if you guys do have like an open trade or anything like that, you can check open trades and your trade history. Uh, if you click open trades, you'll, it'll show all your open trades that are not sold yet but are in line to sell. And you can also click my trade history and show all the trades that you ever made in your Polynix account. So that's basically the overview on how to use Polynix, 
how to um, store your cryptocurrency here, how to transfer your cryptocurrency, withdraw, and margin trade. Alright guys, um, thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.